back to my channel Good with the Fizz. This is Afizullah Masudi, and today we're gonna continue where we left the implementing of notification system in our uh, Laravel project. So let's start, guys. First of all, let's log into our system. As I already have opened the system uh, into the browser, so let's log in as JD at app.com, and the password is password. and yeah we have created the real-time notifications functionality as you guys remember in our last video now the first thing that we want to do in this video is to first of all let's uh, style this uh, notifications icon because if you remember uh, the account for the notification was beside this icon we want it to be popped up at the top of the icon and we want to create a circle circle for it a red circle so let's do it let's open our project in the text editor now let's go to this resources js or not js guys sas and open this app.scss and let's press enter and say import styles.scss now let's create this styles.scss file into the sas folder so right click new file styles scss now inside here what we want to do is if you remember uh, in our notification component we gave the icon an id and the uh, uh, count span also an id if we go to js components and notification component yeah this is the notify num and this is the notify icon well this one should be notify let's remove this one i or extra i from this notify now so let's go to styles let's say id notify underscore icon and let's say line height should be 30 pixel and let's give the font dash size of 25 pixels after that let's uh, style our notify num so id notify underscore num and now let's say text dash align should be center and let's give the position of absolute and let's give the top of five pixels and right of three pixels and let's give the minimum width of minimum width of let's say 18 pixels and minimum height of 19 pixels and let's say border dash radius it should be 50 percent because we want it to be round or circular and now let's say background should be red and color should be let's say hash triple f and line height should be 19 pixels and let's also give the font family sans serif now for this this style to take effect we have to run our yarn run watch so for that we have to open a command prompt window so let's open a cmd and let me zoom a little bit for you to see it now the first thing is to navigate to our project folder so cd dot dot slash dot dot slash varm 64 slash www slash blog and now we can see yarn run watch so guys our code has been compiled successfully now if we go back to the project and refresh we won't see anything because we don't have any notifications so to see how our notifications are working let's try to submit a comment so let's say new comment and submit the comment and now let's log in as john so let's go to new co incognito window and let's say localhost block 
and let's log in as john at app.com and the password is password and yeah this is working well the only problem in here is this caret icon so let's remove it so if we go back to the text editor come to the notification component to remove that caret we have to remove this drop down tuga class from this uh, anchor tag so let's get back to the browser and refresh yeah now it looks just as we want and if we check the real-time functionality well let's go back to the other browser and refresh again yeah we don't have any carrot here so let's try to submit another comment let's say other new comment and submit the comment and if we go back to the other browser yeah now we have two notifications so guys the next thing that we want to do in this video is to that uh, we want to click on this each notification and then we want to mark that uh, specific notification as red and after that uh, we want to go to this uh, notifications post and we want to see the that only notification with its comments so to do that let's first pass our post id to the notifications because if we go to the php my admin and go to this notifications table and if i click on this you can see we are not passing any notification or post id I show you yeah you can see we are only uh, passing the post title but we are not post, uh, passing the post ID will to be able to show uh, a specific post with its comments we have to pass that post ID also so to do that let's get back to the text editor and in here first of all let's open our comment controller so let's go to app http controllers and comment controller so in here what we want to do is after this comment id let's say dollar sign post or not post guys we can get the post id from the request so request arrow post underscore id and comma now let's open this comment created notification and uh, and there also add the code for this post id so let's go to this notifications folder and open comment created and let's duplicate this one and let's say post underscore id we can copy this and let's pass it in our construct method also after the comment id so dollar sign post id and put our comma and in here let's duplicate this one and paste it instead this one should be post underscore id also and if we scroll down yeah in here we also want our post underscore id post underscore id now guys we don't need these files anymore so let's close them and what we want to do next is to add an add click event to the each notification so in here let's say add click should equal to show post and we also want to pass the index the index of this array now let's create this method at the bottom in our Vue.js code so in here let's say comma show post and we have index coming our curly braces now let's create a variable so var post underscore id should be equal to this dot well we want to get the post id from this unread notifications array so in here we can say unread notifications 
and then we want the index that specific notification dot data dot post underscore id and besides post id we also want to send the notifications id because we want to mark that specific notification as read so in here what we can do is create another object so let's name it notification underscore id and this one equals to this dot unread notifications then that specific notification by getting the index and then dot id now the next part is to load another page so we can do that by uh, writing javascript code and that is by saying location dot well this one should be location dot href should equal to slash block slash post slash then we want to concatenate the post underscore id and then we want to concatenate another slash then we want to concatenate the notification id and uh, i think that's all for the show post method now if we go to the browser and let's refresh and now when we click on this uh, each notification it should redirect us to that home or not home that post page so let's click on this yeah you can see blog slash post and our id is undefined you know why it says undefined because uh, we write the post id code for each notification after these notifications so let's mark these all as read and let's uh, create another comment so let's say other comment with post id and submit the comment and now if we go to the other browser you can see we have this notification and now if i click on this yeah you can see we are getting the post id which is 2 so our page is uh, working just fine now let's create a route uh, in laravel for this page so if we go back to the text editor let's open our routes folder and web.php and in here at the bottom let's say route colon colon get and slash post slash id slash notification id and this route should go to post controller at show method and i think that's all now let's create this show method in our post controller so let's go to the top and to the http controllers and post controller and at the bottom let's say public function show and what first we have coming post underscore id then we have notification id notification underscore id and inside here first of all we want to mark the notification as read so we can say notification should equal to auth colon colon user arrow notification and then arrow find dollar sign notification id to find that specific notification then we want to check for this notification if it is not marked or available so let's say if dollar sign notification then we want to say dollar sign notification arrow mark as read and that's all for marking the notification as read after that we want to grab the post from the database so dollar sign post should equal to post model for colon colon find or fill and we want to find the post id and after that we want to pass this data to a view or blade so let's say return view post dot show and comma we want to pass our data also so compact post and now if we go back to the browser the error should change so let's refresh yeah you can see now it says call to undefined method notification 
let's see what is the problem we are importing the auth and this is notification oh this one should be notifications guys yeah and now if we go back refresh yeah it says show blade not found now let's create the show blade in our posts folder so let's get back to the text editor now let's open this views post and right click new file show.blade.php and for this blade what we can do is copy everything from the home blade so let's copy this and paste it here and instead of this post let's say post show or not post show post details and we don't need the for each loop so let's remove it let's remove the hr also and let's indent it a little bit yeah that's all now if we go back to the browser and refresh yeah we are getting the post but as you can see the we are not getting the notifications and also the comments so let's see what is the problem if we go to the inspect elements you can see we have these errors of the routes that uh, our lot of our project doesn't recognize these routes and that is because if we go back to the text editor we have to go to this add comment and get comments and in the notification component also well in here we have to uh, declare this slash block to each of our uh, axios requests so let's say slash block slash and in here also let's say slash block slash and after that let's give, go to this add comment component and in here let's also say slash block slash let's close this and in here also let's say slash block slash and close this one too now if we go back to the browser refresh yeah we aren't getting any errors now and our comments are fetched successfully and as you can see the notification is also marked as read so guys we have reached our goal now uh, you can go to that specific post that the user commented on so now you can see the new comment and you can write your comment too so let's say our real-time notifications system has been implemented implement Minted successfully and submit the comment and now if you go back to the other browser you can see we have this comment and now if I click on this yeah we are going to that specific post so guys this was everything about this video and I hope you enjoyed watching the video and if you enjoyed watching the video don't forget to give the thumbs up and share this video with your friends and don't also forget to subscribe to the channel for support and not miss any updates from this channel. So thanks for watching guys. See you in the next video.